Now, the taxes on the so-called rich, the top one, one and a half percentage of income earners, supposed to go up on January the 1st. If elected, would you argue against that tax hike? Yes, I would. In fact, I would argue in favor of uh, making permanent the 2001 and 2003 tax cuts. And I would argue doing it now before they recess so that people have some level of certainty. I think going forward, we need to simplify our tax code, and we can get to that next. But I think the most important thing now is to provide certainty, particularly to job creators. And that's what you're describing when you talk about that upper 1% is job creators. It's important to provide them with certainty in our marketplace by making permanent these tax cuts and not allowing the tax code to become something that's played for at the whim of the uh, administration and, and the congressional leaders that just want more revenue. You're arguing economics. I put it to you that if you suggested that we not increase taxes on the rich on January the 1st, you would be demagogued to death. You would be accused of giving money to the rich at a time of a nasty recession. Well, the bottom line is that we need folks to create jobs in America. And jobs in America are created by people that have money or access to money, and they use that money to start a business or expand an existing one. That's how economics works. I mean, if we've reached a point in American history where you can't be honest with people about that and talk to them about the reality of what makes our economy grow, then we're in bigger trouble than I thought we were in. 